Hello, this is Dominating Drew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to control FUVAR 2000 on your computer from your Android phone, and then hopefully stream the music back from FUVAR 2000 to your Android device. Keep in mind you're going to need to be on the same network as your phone, or as your computer, for this to work. You can't just carry around your phone all day and then stream music from your computer if you're not on the same network. I'm sure it's possible, and if you want me to, you can leave a comment and I'll try to find a way. I'm not sure how stable that would be, though, and how much it would work. Anyway, to do this on your on the same network, you're going to need an app called FUVAR2000 Controller, which, as the name suggests, is just a controller for, for FUVAR2000. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Just install it on your Android phone. I'll assume you know how to install an app on your phone or tablet. And then for the desktop side, you're going to need a com the computer setup. I'll leave a link to this too. It's just a media fire link. Um, it'll install a component and some files to your computer. So just download this. And then open it once it's done. Run. Next, it'll install some files and then a component called HTTP control. And then playback statistics, but you probably have that already. If you don't, then I'd recommend getting it. Next. Okay, it will find your installation, and I'm not going to click install, but you would. Then after that, you'll have a new component on FUBAR2000 called HTTP Control, which will allow for remote control. Okay, I have my phone right here on my remote Android client, so I'm going to need to open up my FUBAR2000 controller app right here. Once that's open, it's going to ask you, to log in, I've already, or not log in, type in your computer's IP address and create a new computer. I've already done that, but you're going to need to know your computer's IP address. To do this, just open up a command prompt in administrator, type ipconfig, that's I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and then scroll up, it'll come up with this, scroll up until you get to your Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter, or not virtual box your local area connection, or whatever you're using. And then the IPv4 address is right here. Mine is 192.168.1.90. Make sure it's your real network, not virtual box or something like that. And then type that in to, and create a new computer on your FUBAR2000 controller app. Once you've done that, you should be able to remotely control FUBAR2000. I'm going to press play here and hopefully I have this up, actually I'll do split screen here. I'm going to press play. And I can pause it. I can change songs. I'm not going to change songs though because I don't want to get a copyright strike. This is just uncopyrighted music. Um, anyway, that's the part for controlling it. That's pretty easy. The next part's a little harder, but it's not too bad. To do this, you're going to need another component and another app. The app is Bubble UPnP. UPnP stands for Universal Plug and Play. It's mostly used for media management and stuff like that. So download Bubble UPnP to your phone. And you're going to assume you know how to install an Android, an Android app. Now you're also going to need foo out UPnP component for FUBAR2000. Just go to this page, download it open this up and it'll give you instructions to install it. It'll just probably ask you if you want to install. And it'll just say yes. I've already installed it though, so I'm not going to install it again. Restart FUBAR2000 and then open up FUBAR2000. Now, this is important. Make sure you open up Bubble UPnP on your phone first or your computer won't be able to see your phone as UPnP running. Um, so just open up that app. It's open now, it's just taking a long time to update, there it is. So now I'm going to minimize that, go back to FUBAR2000, preferences, go to output, and then for output, do bubble UPnP in your Android phone or tablet. Now you can change the buffer length if you want, but I wouldn't mess with, them, with it unless you're having problems. Okay, now as you play music, it should play to your phone instead of your 
computer. And then you can use the other app to control the music remotely. So this way you should be able to listen to music for on your computer anywhere in your house, which is especially useful if you have a home speaker system. You could just probably use a control method then you wouldn't need the playback. But if you just want to listen to music on your phone, this is useful. Anyway, if you're having problems, leave a comment or head over to the form listed at the informingboard.com. If you like this video, then like it and comment if you have a comment and subscribe if you want future videos like this. Thank you.